Welcome back into Carolina's own Queen City News. Now we want to get you right back out to that breaking news out of Bessemer City where fire crews are fighting a fire at a lithium plant. Our very own Savannah Rudisell is there on scene for us. Savannah, what are we learning? What's the latest? Yeah, Julian, uh, as we've been looking here at this plant in here in Bessemer City, we've noticed some of the flames kind of die down a little bit. Some kind of look like they're starting to respark uh, as we're just across the street from this uh, live vent plant, the lithium processing plant here in Bessemer City. Uh, we have started to be able to see a little bit more about how responders are, are handling this. If you take a look here just behind me, we've seen a couple more crews kind of start to pull up here just within probably about the last half hour. Uh, some of them are working. I can kind of see them moving inside a little bit around the loading dock area. Uh, this call came in originally a couple hours ago. Uh, Gaston County officials are working with uh, other local teams here. The crews are trying to put out these flames. Uh, some of the smoke is kind of dying off, off here in the area. We are starting to see some of those plumes uh, kind of starting to, uh, again, kind of get, die down. But that hasn't stopped a lot of neighbors from coming out here to try to check this out. Uh, we've seen a couple different people come up to us, ask what's going on. A lot of drivers in the area pulling off to the side of the road just to see what's happening. This is something that uh, emergency crews are, are trying to avoid. There are a few different road closures in the area. Some people wanting to keep people away from the live event plan just to make sure that emergency crews can get uh, done what they need to get done. But again, this fire here at the live event facility, we are still working to learn uh, if anyone was inside at the time. We're working to learn if there were any injuries here and uh, we're going to try to uh, get in contact here with more officials to figure out how, how long exactly they believe that this response might take. Um, as we kind of stay on the phone and uh, keep uh, working uh, with some of our emergency crew sources, uh, we're going to keep you updated here as we learn more. Reporting live in Bessemer City, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News. And Savannah, if I may ask right there, the scene, as you've been kind of showing us, seems pretty subdued from the outside. But uh, we saw kind of a little bit of fire further over the building. Where exactly is that fire? Can you guys tell from your vantage point? Uh, yeah, Julian, I mean, we'll, we'll give you another look here inside if you're able to see something a little bit closer here from uh, from the way that our, our camera's able to zoom in here with our photojournalist uh, Trevor Beck. Uh, from our vantage point and again, for where we can stay safely, it's a little bit difficult to see. I don't want to don't want to tell you wrong here. We're going to talk a little bit more with crews. As you can kind of see, it's you're starting to see one of the small flames kind of above the tree line here. And this is uh, right on the top of a roof of uh, kind of looks like one of the shorter buildings here. So again, from our our vantage point, we're able to see a little bit of flames, a little bit of smoke as far as being able to confirm exactly where this is.